people have said to me that it is impossible to make a video about Freemasonry without disclosing its secrets and making oneself liable to censure from the Grand Lodge. So here I would like to define what constitutes the secrets of Freemasonry. If you want to hide a secret in some text or a letter, you normally use a code or cipher. So parts of the ritual are written in code and cipher and some are in open text. Uniquely, the ritual of both the Grand Lodge of Japan and the Grand Lodge of China in Taiwan are both use only open text, <clears throat> probably due to the difficulty of encoding Chinese characters. But does that mean nothing in the cipher is secret because it's all open text? If you look at your monitor carefully, you will notice that everything that is in open text is either a prayer or a lecture on morality. <clears throat> in the first degree, that constitutes the working tools lecture, the description of the lodge, followed by an ex uh, ex explanation of the ornaments of the lodge and the four cardinal virtues. In the second degree, again, we have the working tools, followed by the orders of architecture, the several seven liberal arts and sciences, and lastly, a description of geometry. In the third degree, there is one working tool, a description of King Solomon's temple, followed by the 12 emblems of the third degree, which all allude to a moral teaching. All of this is in open text. I believe that the objective of having this part of open text in the monitor is that if it was found by a non-Mason, he would only read about moral teachings and a society with an interest in architecture and especially the construction of King Solomon's Temple, which uh, in the 1600s was a major topic of research, particularly by people like uh, Sir Isaac Newton, who wrote a book about it. So that would reinforce the message that Freemasonry is a peculiar system of morality, veiled in allegory and illustrated by symbols. So the non-Mason would look no further because what he had read in the monitor confirmed this belief about Freemasonry. Secondly, he would also believe that Freemasonry is a Christian organization because the lessons used in each degree are taken from the Bible. So what are the secrets then? In the first degree, all that's written in cipher are the signs of recognition and the oath that the candidate takes. Uh, and in the second degree, it's the same. In the third degree, we have the uh, signs of recognition, but we also have the hieramic tragedy. So are we to understand that the secrets of Freemasonry boil down to what is written in cipher? In other words, just five things, the signs, tokens, passwords, the oaths, and the Haramic legend. Let's first of all just consider the Haramic legend. It's given in the first book of Kings in chapter seven, but it does not include the death of Haram. In Anderson's constitutions in uh, 1723, he doesn't even mention uh, the legend. But then in 1738, he does including, include it, saying that three ruffians killed the Prince of Architects. This indicates that the content of the third degree hadn't been decided by 1723. People have associated the death of Hiram with the death of Osiris or even the death of Noah. But there is actually a much easier explanation uh, 
which I hope to talk about at another time. However, as the Haramic legend is found in both in the Bible and the Book of Jewish Antiquities by Flavius Josephus, it is not considered a secret by the United Grand Lodge of England. And I quote from a report of the Board of General Purposes dated 1999, says, the board considers that it may be opportune to remind brethren of the scope of Masonic secrecy, so that in explaining Freemasonry to their families and friends, they may know what they may and may not discuss. Every Freemason is bound by his obligations not to reveal the traditional modes of recognition. This admits of no compromise. The ceremonial ways of proving one is a Freemason should not normally be used outside the context of Masonic meetings. Brethren making improper disclosure or use of the signs, tokens and words of craft and royal arch masonry render themselves liable to Masonic disciplinary sanction. The promise not to reveal the modes of recognition may also be seen as symbolic of a wider pledge by a brother to abide by all his obligations, non-Masonic as well as Masonic. So there we have it. The secrets are the three modes of recognition only, the signs, the tokens and the words. But in truth, there are lots of hidden secrets in the three degrees. For example, these ashlars, they are, signify something much more important than what is written in the monitor. This is what we should be studying. These are hints. This is the lodge and the ritual are full of these type of hints. And uh, in later date, I hope to be introducing these to uh, my subscribers. <coughs> um, so once you find the key to the secret in the degrees, these things start to become apparent and I hope to talk more about that key in a later video. Thank you.